What if Uranus collided with Earth? We extend to you a warm welcome for visiting our channel to watch our research-based videos on subjects that are significant and worth watching and knowing about. Here we talk in detail about what would happen if Uranus collides with the Earth. Recently, much was observed of Uranus overhead. At its first appearance, it looked like our moon, but it was greater than this heavenly body, apparently heading towards Earth. It was on something of a collision course with the planet Earth. In fact, Uranus has remained at pace within the entire scheme of solar system for times immemorial. It remained at peace and within its orbit around 3 billion kilometers, 1.9 billion miles away from us. It has been observed that it is becoming closer to the Earth. This latest motion of behavior has equally dreaded the space scientists and people around the globe. Some experts were quick to set off the alarm bells, while some reminded us that even if Uranus is on the collision course with the Earth, it will still take 13 years. Space science tells us that usually heavenly bodies, including planets, do not go out of their circles. Yet Uranus did it, and most recently. Contrary to the 13-year period Uranus would take to reach the crushing point, imagine another and totally different scenario and let us agree with scientific calculations that Uranus moves with an electric unbelievable speed. We are just 30 days left on the Earth. Here we reflect on this subject in detail, including the current nature and position of the Earth and Uranus, a bright view and what actually is destined to happen if Uranus collides with the Earth. Stay tuned with us until the end. Earth and Uranus. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to sustain life. Although the solar system contains an enormous amount of water, only the Earth is home to liquid surface water. The oceans cover 71% of the Earth's surface, dwarfing its polar ice, lakes, and rivers. While the Earth is a terrestrial planet made largely of water and land, Uranus is an ice giant made mostly of gases like hydrogen and helium, with minor amounts of methane. The Earth has one moon, whilst Uranus has 27 moons. While the Earth is at a distance of 93 million miles from the Sun, Uranus is at a distance of 19.8 astronomical units away from the Sun. Chances of a Collision On the positive side, we are told that it is almost impossible, though the distance between Uranus and the Earth fluctuates from time to time. Our solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago, whereas it is in constant motion and the distance between the Earth and Uranus changes daily. The closest that Uranus can come to the Earth will be at a distance of 1.6 million miles, which is 2.6 billion kilometers. In other words, they are separated by 1.98 billion miles, or 3.2 billion kilometers. Both of these planets have been within their orbits for around 4.5 billion years, and it is estimated that they will continue on their respective orbits for such a period moving forward. This means the chances for any collision are nil, at least during the period that this universe has experienced since coming into being. What if Uranus collides with the Earth? The bad news is everyone dies if this unthinkable thing ever happens. Uranus is around 14.5 times more massive and around four times larger by diameter. So if you happen to be lucky enough to be on the side facing Uranus, you're going to see a massive greenish disk occupying a massive chunk of the sky. In the unfortunate event, the Earth will then get pulled towards Uranus like the planetary equivalent of a suppository. A worst-case scenario cannot be ruled out even. In fact, Uranus has a paper-thin atmosphere which is roughly one-eighth the thickness of the global world. 
This signifies that the human planet we are living on will be able to sink well into the atmosphere without striking anything solid. What's more in store for us according to the Newtonian physics? His principle of physics gives us an acceleration of around 5.6 meters per second squared of the Earth toward Uranus. People will be able to stay stuck to the ground wherever the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared, in the opposite direction, and would not get sucked into Uranus. But the entire Earth would move towards Uranus at an ever-increasing speed. The problem with this simple analysis is that the acceleration of Uranus will be far greater than that on the far side. The resulting tidal forces will rip the Earth apart. However, if it is supposed that the Earth keeps together, and if it does so, it will be incredible since the Earth travels the 6,000 kilometers or so through the atmosphere toward the mantle. Eventually, the Earth will lose its composition and tear into larger or smaller pieces. Ideally, there can be the possibility for some people to live long enough only to watch massive quantities of light gases from Uranus's atmosphere pushed into the Earth's atmosphere. Although it is hard to calculate the friction of Uranus, but suppose roughly a day of travel, the shattered remains of Earth will hit the mantle. Mantle is one of the layers of the Earth somewhat like plastic or flexibly solid, and in the event any part or portion of the Earth survives this collision, that part will get mixed in with the mantle. This will precipitate the dense iron and massive metals to sink toward the core, where they will eventually settle and can take months or years from the event of collision. While heavy metals and irons will be settling, light materials of the Earth would boil outward months and years from now. Lighter materials from the Earth will boil outward and outgas into Uranus's atmosphere. On the outside of Uranus, there is now a massive blemish on the cloud tops. The aforementioned outgassing of colored gases, as well as debris from Earth, will disrupt the uniform greenness of Uranus and leave a huge brown eye on the surface of Uranus. Parts of the Earth that were on the far side of the impact will be thrown by the collective rotations of the two bodies into orbit around the larger world, making a giant ring around Uranus. In the end, we've totally pounded Uranus, but due to its flexibility and the relatively slow speed of impact, Uranus doesn't crack, but rebounds into its original enormous round shape. But what would happen if we all fell into Uranus in such an event? On Uranus, everyone is doomed to vanish, at least partially due to the fierce winds. As it can reach a speed of 900 kilometers per hour, that is faster than any on the Earth, and with this speed, humans will hurl faster. What is equally alarming is the fact that the upper stratosphere of Uranus is not friendly, nor can one sustain life in this atmosphere. It instantly will freeze all of us, as is noted, and recorded temperature is about minus 40 degrees Celsius at its warmest. This presence of cold means that everyone dies. What is equally worse is a scenario in which the extreme heat of the Earth's core affects us. It can reach an astonishing temperature level of 5,000 degrees Celsius. This is something of a scenario that none of us will want to experience. In fact, if Uranus collides with the Earth, and the Earth turns into pieces and all of its sundry perishes, the pressure, wind speed, extreme cold and extreme heat, with the possibility that the air turned into a cosmic fire, all paint a doomsday scenario. If Uranus collides with the Earth, the Earth will perish, and so will all life. By and large, observing the recent motion and latest behavior of Uranus must be a matter of great concern for all of us. Any eventuality would put an end to life and the composition of the Earth itself. One cannot calculate the massive damage and great tragedy this collision between the Earth and Uranus can cause. The environment of Uranus is unsuitable for life. This gigantic crash will cause such a huge mayhem that neither the Earth nor Uranus nor a human being will remain. We are grateful to you for watching this video. 
and keep watching our channel and support us for more videos on such paramount essential subjects. Like our channel and share our videos. Never forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you are instantly informed and the first to watch our videos coming soon.